Welcome everybody to Game Informer's Cover Reveal live stream. I'm Kyle Hilliard here with Brian Shea. Hey, how's it going everyone? Marcus Stewart is here. Hey, good morning. Uh, and Brian, we agreed on ties. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you why you didn't get that message, but we said please wear, if nothing else, a tie. I believe was well, the message I that, sent. That would have gotten us banned from Twitch. I was just wearing <laughs> nothing but a tie. Uh, but no, you do look good, Brian. You look It looks good without the tie, I gotta say. Why, thank you. Uh, but yeah, so here we are. We are... Um, yeah, the cover reveal stream, we do this uh, pr pretty regularly now. We've been doing it almost for a year, I think, where we reveal the cover on a live stream yeah. we're going to Not a year i don't think it's been a year I, about a year i i think of, i it's because i yeah i'll i'd have to look and I see like, i thought it. we started it this year that's why i was yeah. you could be right thing what was <laughs> i wonder what the first cover the second was sea of did. stars so whatever well, was the cover before sea of stars was the first one hey look who's well, here andrew reiner hello what? get out of here D get get out of here, to quote Andrew Reiner. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, no I see Bob Buell here, too. Bob Buell, yeah. No, it's I, every time I, I'm watching TV or playing a game and someone says, get out of there, I, I think of you, Andrew Reiner. Yeah, I accidentally find myself saying it because of him. He is like, you know that you know when you hang out with people and you start adopting their like various isms <laughs> yeah. and you don't even realize it? Like that is Reiner has infected my brain with that where like <laughs> during replays and stream, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> it was like I just said the thing. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so we're we're uh what we'll do it's it's uh, ten fifty two right now, so in about eight minutes we'll press I'll press a button. This is me pressing the button, and we'll share what mm. the new cover uh is, the the next uh month the next issue uh and we're excited about this one um we can say that brian shea wrote the cover story i like i like to say that even though i don't like to tease I too did much write the cover story we can say that brian wrote it mm -hmm. yes oh, uh, I, I, I i was i supposed to pick up the ball and run with it there <laughs> no no i'm just we're just we're just chatting man we're just uh we i i we like to start about 10 minutes before the 11 o'clock time to let people come in and chat and say hello um, Play It Forward Gaming is uh, asking me to DM him what the cover is. Uh, Eleven oh one. I'll send that DM. Don't you? Worry. <laughs> oh, we got a Dan Tax sighting. Uh oh, man! Saying every all the stars are out tonight, man. <laughs> yeah, former Game Inform folks. Yeah, if anyone's like, who is Dan Tack and Andrew Reiner? They're Andrew Reiner, former editor in chief. Dan Tack, former PC editor, Game Informer, our friends. Yeah. Why would anybody ask that? Everybody knows who those two are. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Well, we get we get a lot of new folks checking in uh, for these streams to see to see what's going on. <laughs> Play it forward. Yeah. Gaming also asked that same question. Yeah, who can't say saying love the suits, gentlemen? Well, thank thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the only. These have become the only occasions I ever wear a suit anymore. I am not a suit guy. I very rarely find myself in a situation where a suit is is necessary, but this. <laughs> Doing these every month or almost every month, it's like, oh, okay, I'm getting back into the the suit game. I'm uh, maybe I should buy a new suit because this uh, spoilers. This suit is not; it is very old. <laughs> this is a very old suit jacket Marcus, that I think you're, you're looking like a member of the Foo Fighters when they were opening for the Red Hot Chili Peppers back in like the early 2000s or late 90s. That's exactly what I was going for, Brian. I'm glad <laughs> yeah. you noticed it. <laughs> That's what uh, I thought. <laughs> Thank you. I am a big Foo Fighters fan, so you know that, that sort of works out. Is there maybe uh, a little bit of Jack White when he was in the White Stripes? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Show. sure. Yeah. Can we any more comparisons that are like cool? I guess that you can throw in there. Uh, uh, like I think Marcus Green Stewart. Day. I feel like uh, uh, what's it? What's the, who's the lead singer? Billy Joel Armstrong. Billy Joel Armstrong. I feel like he wore black with a red tie. John for a while Green. As well. Okay, that was gonna be my guess. <laughs> It's not named after the the singer Green Day. It's like because it's his day because he started the band. I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't know the history of that name. Yeah, you got a green tie, so. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Okay. That's you're referencing. Yeah. Or I it's did, just for good luck. I was playing some Green Day songs in Beat Saber uh, the other day. Uh, still, Ooh. still play Beat Saber pretty regularly. <laughs> uh, mini Mini L Neff says, "Looking good, gents. Thank you." Thank you. I see Spike seven nine seven seven is trying to figure out what it would be based on what I usually write about. So I, I can run down my most, I can run down all of the cover stories I've written. If that wants, if people want to have a hint there. Yeah. So first one was Pokemon Sword and Shield, then Immortals Phoenix Rising, then Saints Row, then Callisto Protocol, Sonic Frontiers, 
Street Fighter VI, and Sonic Superstars have wow. been all my cover stories to this point. Right. So I don't know if that offers up any hints, but uh, and also I'm currently reviewing Forza Motorsport. So <laughs> lots of uh, a pretty wide range of <laughs> that beats that I cover. I See, know that really time, would... throws it into the wind. I don't know. See people plugging all of those covers on a cork board with tape, trying to find <laughs> the connection. Like what's 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 the thread here? <laughs> what's that Charlie what Day meme? Mean? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I've always thought about Please like protocol and Sonic. There has to be. <laughs> <laughs> Callisto Protocols on PlayStation Plus now. What does it mean? What does it mean? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I see uh, Wesley LeBlanc, familiar face, in the chat saying it's Astral Chain 2. Oh. <laughs> it's not Astral Chain 2, but can anybody... Uh, we should we should do a better job of keeping Wesley in the loop of what's going on at Game Informer. That's troubling. Yeah. <laughs> <if, laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody else likes Soundgarden, but I cannot read Astral Chain, Astral Chain without reading it like Rusty Chain, like the song Rusty Chain. Rusty uh, and Astral are two very different words. Yeah, but yeah. I just, you know, it's it's one of those. <laughs> I it's I got uh, you. Bob, Bob Backwards guests, guesses Sea of Stars 3, which would be very surprising. They just <laughs> skip two and somehow produce the third game. Two rusty months cage, after the first rusty, game came. Not Astral yeah. Cage. At rusty. God, I, I messed that up really bad. Rusty Cage, not Rusty Chain. So you're, oh, it's boy. two different, completely different words yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who cares? <laughs> Look, sure. I'm only like a third of the way through my coffee. <laughs> Gotta yeah. give me a break here. Saying, turn in your rock card, Brian. I know. Mm -hmm. And I, I say this as somebody who wrote about rock music before he wrote about video games. Mm. And literally was making a grunge playlist over the weekend. So, like, I have no excuse. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> God. If it makes so you feel good. better, uh, Brian, I'm a big fan of Chainsaw Man. And I got the new issue of the manga yesterday. And um, every time I see the name Chainsaw Man or the comic or a commercial for it, I just sing in my head the Billy Joel song, Piano Man. But I put <laughs> Chainsaw Man in there. Exactly. I don't know why. It's I not do that the same for Final Fantasy X whenever there's... <laughs> Whenever Can you sing it now, <laughs> sing us the song. You're the Chainsaw Man. <laughs> Nailed okay. it. it a, a peek into your head. There, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. With a chainsaw protruding out the front. Oof. Oh man, this is my favorite part of these. I like. I love watching people guess, <laughs> and then yeah. in my head, silently judging them, based on like how close or how far off. I, I form my entire opinion of you based on that. <laughs> Uh, what we, we did we did I talk over a Final Fantasy X thing played for game? Was someone saying something? Yeah, I was just I was saying something about how like I can't sing the song "Jet" by Paul McCartney without <laughs> uh, "Jet." Oh right. <laughs> and there's a part in a Foo Fighters song where he says "I'll bet, I'll bet," and I just say it as "I'll bed, I'll bed." Wow. So yeah, it, it Final Fantasy X and a lot of video games have just ruined my brain. <laughs> My parents were right all people, along. I think. They were <laughs> yeah. right all along. <laughs> uh, so let's see. We got about we got about thirty seconds. You guys ready? I'll count it what? down. What? Yeah. We should I'm start having like uh, we should start having a clip of like the ball dropping. I in, like, for New Year's for this. <laughs> like just put some stock footage of that, counting it down. A couple of times I have put the the um, time dot gov. Like I'll just grab it, you know, like up and I'll put it up there on the top. But uh, I, I ran out of time today. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. You guys ready? Four. Yes. Yeah. Three, two, one. Here we go. Woo! Cover revealed. There it is. Boom. Super Mario Brothers Wonder is Game Informer's new cover. Uh, it's a cool one, man. It's a one I was very excited to reveal. We have, I mean, the whole freaking cover is Elephant Mario. He doesn't even fit that on guy. the magazine. <laughs> Look at I don't him. Know that he goes off the side. Of the, the like, <laughs> yes. literally, like he doesn't fit. Like it, he doesn't fit on the either side of the cover, right? Like it's like he he goes off the right corner of the magazine, and also he bleeds into the back. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because you have to imagine this is this is folded in half. So yeah, it's just he takes up so much uh, room, and it it looks great. Um. And yeah, Brian, you wrote the cover story. You want to uh, tell us a little bit about it? No. Okay. Never mind. No. I. I uh, yeah. I, I played it more than anybody else outside of Nintendo. I have uh, done three gameplay sessions of Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, the one was the one that everybody went to, and then I played a little bit more at Nintendo Live, and then I went to Nintendo of America's headquarters and played everything all over again, plus three exclusive levels that nobody else has played. 
and also uh, got to sit down with uh, producer Takashi Tezuka and director Shiro Mori and picked their brains about the game and then had an additional interview after that with kind of a broader team at Nintendo, including uh, Koji Kondo, who I spoke to earlier this year about uh, the Mario movie. So it was good to get some more information from him about how the audio of this game was working. The art director was chiming in. Uh, God, I forget his, his name, but uh, Sato is his last his his last name and we uh learned about the art style of the game learned about how they created power-ups uh got a fun little nugget about how uh difficult some challenges in this game later on might be even though they're, they're very con conscious about spoilers but yeah just got a good look at kind of the the making of this game as well as kind of how they view the legacy of the new super mario brothers series as well which was some very interesting stuff in my eyes anyway because like you know it's it was weird because I was looking back and it has been 11, like it was, it was 11 year gap between when we got Yoshi's Island and when we got new Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo DS, 11 year gap. It has been 11 years since new Super Mario Brothers U hit Wii U to when Super Mario Brothers Wonder comes. So it's the same distance between those two uh, 2D entries as it was way back in the day when it was like, oh my God, is 2D dead? So it's really been a long time. So it's, it's great to kind of draw some parallels to that. And uh, yeah, I think that the, the cover story runs down a lot of interesting tidbits. And, uh, you know, kind of, I wrote it with the the mindset of this is going to be a fun companion because people are going to be playing it in, what, three weeks? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 around the corner, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a good one. It's always exciting to have Nintendo stuff on the cover. And we were all, it's funny because... Um, like a little behind the scenes, we were initially Brian, you and me and Matt were kind of like, we just want kind of standard Mario. Can we get just Mario on the cover, you know? And then they they gave us the elephant option, and we gave it to the staff, and everyone was like, we got to do elephant Mario. And I'm like, yeah, in was... retrospect, I'm like, we totally made the right call. I love having just big Mario on the cover. I I think that's I think that's great. Uh, but of Big course, Mario. yeah, there's a lot more in the issue, which will go live digitally in a few hours. I mean, we, it's always um, when we when we hit it live, it's not a consistent time, but we will follow us on Twitter. We'll send out an alert that the digital issue is available. Um, a couple things in the issue. Marcus, you dove deep on The Last of Us Haunted House. Uh, which yeah. Is very cool. and, uh, yeah. Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah. Um, let's see. We have uh, Blake Hester wrote a cool piece about Silent Hill 2. Uh, we have another piece from a freelancer whose name I am pulling up uh, right now, uh, Diego Nicolas uh, Arguello, who wrote about what it's like to test games in VR, which is really interesting. Uh, we have a whole piece about the popularity of boomer shooters, which are like uh, this new wave of shooters that are kind of inspired by like the Doom era of, of video games that are really cool. That's from um, uh, uh, Pio U Mall. Uh, apologies for mispronouncing anyone's name, by the way. And of course, the Super Mario Wonder cover story. Um, Marcus also got, has a four-page feature on Rebirth, um, which is cool. Uh, you you went and played that. We have some features of, for that on the site, but then I, th I believe the the issue even has a couple more details and quotes and stuff like that. I think is is that right, Marcus? Yeah. Am I wrong? Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's a couple more quotes in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah uh, Wes uh, talked to the folks behind Ghost Runner too, so a big piece on that, and one that we've had kind of simmering for a while from you and other Mark. Marcus did a lot on this issue. <laughs> is um, I'm realizing that actually? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pal World. Uh, you spoke right. with the devs behind Pal World, which is like I I really like that feature because that game still exists in kind of an ether of like, is that a real thing? And Marcus, I like, hope it is. It, Marcus spoke to them and like has quotes from them where they're like, yeah, this is a real thing. We're working really hard on this. You guys. <laughs> they Bell's seem very confused. Of like, why do people think this isn't real? <laughs> yeah. Bell yeah. love it when you're like, are you actually making this game? I mean, just ask the star citizen <laughs> guy. Like, are you a person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's, it's a great issue. Uh, yeah. Uh, Super Mario brothers wonder on the cover. Um, yeah, is there anything else that we that we need to plug uh, before we we sign off, you guys? Um, I also went to Nintendo Live and have a little bit of a feature right. in there for that, including like a little photo gallery. And I talked to, I think it was the VP of Consumer Marketing at Nintendo, which is not an interview they typically offer up. So that was kind of interesting to like get like the hey, how did this weird fan fest that you guys put together come into existence? And then also, you know, we'll be talking more about it, uh, about this cover story on the Game Informer show this Thursday. And then also All Things Nintendo, my Nintendo-focused podcast on Friday. 
And then you can also go to GameInformer.com slash Mario Wonder, and we're going to have some extra bonus features for you over the next couple of weeks. Cool. Well, yeah, thanks thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, uh, that's going to do it for us for uh, sharing the cover. But, you know, keep an eye on the site. We'll have all kinds of stuff coming up in, in the next couple of weeks. Even today, the, the digital issue will be available a little bit later today. Uh, oh, yep, Brian's showing off the watch. Yep. He, he I, my, I, I swapped out my piece of crap Volvo watch, <laughs> or Movado watch. Sorry, it's Movado. Yeah, he doesn't say when he pressed that watch, he actually transforms into Mario. It's like yeah. a superhero. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, but, yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.